what is going on guys welcome back to the channel so guys obviously the markets are closed today today is saturday so we can't see amc go to the moon specifically today but nevertheless though that doesn't mean there isn't a ton of information to prepare us going into next week so guys in today's video we are going to be talking about the possibility for a massive gamma squeeze and the short squeeze that could be coming sooner than you guys think we're also going to be going over some technical analysis as well as board members selling more shares of amc and the sc possibly going after citadel so guys if all that information sounds interesting make sure and stick around for the entire video and also consider subscribing to the channel turning on those notifications so you guys can get notified every time i release a video so you guys don't miss any important news and also if you enjoy make sure to smash that like button those are both free ways to really help support the channel and i definitely appreciate that now first off just before we get into the video real quick i want to show you something because again out of all the amazing comments that I get for you guys there's always just a couple bad ones in there so I want to read this one to you guys real quick it says in 15 days your YouTube career will be over no one knows that info how could you 1515 days what a joke stop giving false hope Obviously, guys, he's referring to my last video if you guys did not see that. And, Troy, I just really don't know what we're going to do with you, man. If you would have watched the video, you would have realized that $1,500 in 15 days was an article that I found and really wanted to show you guys because it showed that there was $1,500 in the dark pools and that could possibly be revealed in 15 days. But, of course, people like this, they don't really watch the videos. They just like to make terrible comments by just reading the title. And if you'd have watched the video, he would have also realized that before and after I preached that although there is a massive possibility that the short squeeze happens for AMC it also could not happen we know the only way this happens is if all the apes hold but what I can't tell you is if all the apes are actually gonna hold or not and I preach that in every single one of my videos so obviously most of you guys know that because you all watch the video but of course I had to address a comment like that nevertheless though let's get into the important information in today's video and we will start with a little bit of technical analysis so jumping right into it here we can see that there is that horizontal symmetrical triangle whatever you guys want to call it and we can see that we were talking about it a couple days ago right here and we said it's either going to break towards the downwards direction or the upwards direction if it breaks on this triangle out of the upwards direction we could see it possibly go up to the beginning of where this started to form at about 78 to 80 dollars per share as we can see guys we ended friday pretty close to breaking out of this wedge so i do think this is another very important thing to look towards and we need to get a clean break a couple complete one hour and four hour candlesticks breaking complete above this horizontal triangle and guys we could be heading upwards towards that 78 dollar mark also guys if you have not seen my previous video i think it was yesterday when we compared all of the previous short squeezes like gme like volkswagen like blackberry make sure and check that out because we go over the relationship between AMC compared to all those and how this does not happen overnight. There are periods of consolidation. There are red days that happens even during short squeezes. So for all you new investors, make sure and check that out so you realize that the short squeeze is not over and that just because we are consolidating does not mean we don't still have a massive short squeeze at our fingertips. Obviously, I don't know that, but it is a possibility. Moving on though, I want to talk about this idea of a gamma squeeze. And real quick, I know a lot of you may not know what this gamma squeeze is, especially compared to a short squeeze. So let's go over it real quick. So just real quick here, guys, it says a gamma squeeze can happen when there's widespread buying activity of short dated call options for a particular stock. This can effectively create an upward spiral in which call buying triggers higher stock prices, which results in more call buying and even higher stock prices. And if we scroll down, we can see the gamma squeeze happens when the underlying stocks price begins to go up very quickly within a short period of time as more money flows into call options from investors that forces more buying activity which can lead to higher stock prices which causes that gamma squeeze so let's take a look at how this gamma squeeze could happen in relation to amc and i know this is long guys but it is very important so read this right here it says amc needs to close above 40 dollars per share on june 18th or at least maintain above 40 dollars this week into next week we have 400,000 contracts expiring in the money on june 18th at the 40 dollars strike 
Mega Ultra Gamma Squeeze. It says if we close at $60 on June 18th, we get 524,000 contracts to expire in the money. That's 40 million to 52 million contracts that would need to be hedged for by market makers as soon as even next week before the 18th expiration. Market makers are known to hedge early even before the expiration date. We need to stay above the $40 strike price in order to make this happen. So obviously guys, that $40 mark is very, very important and we could see these market makers start buying up these shares to hedge against the contracts even before that 18th expiration date. So guys, this is very important because obviously we need the stock price of AMC to go up. That is how we're going to trigger the short squeeze. The question is, what is going to trigger this short squeeze? Because we know at some point, and we're going to go over it here, at some point, the hedge funds, they are going to have to buy back all of those shares because the bank is going to be calling and they are going to get margin called. The question is, what is going to cause that to happen? Is it going to be retail investors buying a ton of shares? Is it going to be a bunch of FOMO buyers? Or could it be a gamma squeeze to push us up to that $70, $80 price level, which then triggers the short squeeze on top? of that which could then send us to absolutely astronomical numbers so let's go over that real quick because this is very very important here it says prepare for an epic short squeeze of amc this is the end game and so guys this is interesting because it goes over real numbers it goes over actual numbers of what could actually happen and what prices we could see to trigger the short squeeze which obviously the gamma squeeze could lead us there hopefully that all makes sense but anyways it says the higher the price of a stock the more collateral hedges need to provide this is how a short short squeeze essentially happens and it says in more collateral for their short positions means that the holdings onto the shorts will be very costly for hedgies and obviously they would eventually have to close out their positions but the big question is just like it says right here what price does AMC have to get at for the hedge funds to be in serious trouble and be forced due to capital requirements to end up closing out on their positions or buying back those shares and causing that short squeeze so here's some quick math here it says assume hedgies made one point seven billion by shorting 100 million shares at about twelve dollars per share that means they have not realized losses of about four billion dollars right now further assume that hedgies need to comply with collateral requirements of 40 percent for their short accounts so they would have to have collateral of at least 40 percent of short volume and in this case would be 1.6 billion dollars already that they would have to provide as collateral now the question is what is the maximum amount of dollars that they can possibly provide as collateral and that would end up triggering the short squeeze so it says a citadel for instance has a capital requirement of eight percent and with more than 30 billion dollars in managed assets they have a requirement to hold at least 2.4 billion dollars as capital in other words they cannot possibly provide more than 2.4 billion dollars for their short account before they start getting into serious trouble by creditors and regulators it says well guess what at exactly 70 dollars per share their collateral exceeds 2.4 billion dollars so according to this dd that's $70 number is very, very important. Even if the math is off a little bit, we can safely assume that if AMC can push up to the $70 to $100, maybe a little bit over $100 per share, that would obviously trigger a massive short squeeze, causing, the, causing these hedge funds to buy back all their shares, which then would lead the price to rally up massively. Obviously though, like I always want to preach to you guys, there is concern because how is it going to get to that point? How is it going to get to $70 to $100 per share? Could it be the gamma squeeze? Maybe, but what if that doesn't happen? And that is the point. The only way this happens, and I say this so much, you guys are probably sick of hearing it, but it really matters. The only way this happens is if all the apes hold. If we hold, we eventually will squeeze the hedge funds out of their positions. Nevertheless, though, the problem is, is I can't tell you if everyone's going to hold because I do not know. If investors, if apes start to sell, then I do want to warn you guys, the price could plummet. And as the price gets up higher and higher, it's going to be harder and harder for the apes to hold onto their positions as they see their portfolio continue to grow. So that's obviously just my fair warning, my disclaimer that yes, there is a possibility that this squeeze happens, but don't assume it's going to happen because there's a lot that needs to happen for it to happen. Hopefully that all makes sense, but I just always want to give my warning to you guys so I don't mislead you and guide you down a path that could possibly not happen. Anyways, though, let's move on to the next article. So it says AMC board members cash in another $4.8 million worth of shares as meme stock madness pushes the stock to eye-watering heights. Once again, guys, I just want to preach to you guys that I think this is a bunch of media FUD. Even if they are selling their shares at this date and time, 
Why wouldn't they, guys? Most of these insiders, they aren't, they don't hold AMC stock for the movement. They've been getting stock-based compensation for years and years and years. Now this stock has rallied up to $50 per share. Why wouldn't they cash out on their position? They're not apes. They're not holding for the same sake that we are. They're not holding for the movement. They are ready to cash out on their shares that they've probably been holding for decades. So obviously, yes, normally when you see insiders selling, that is obviously a bad thing. Like if you would be investing to like if you would be invested into Apple for a fundamental play and then insiders started selling their shares, you might want to consider selling out because obviously they don't believe in the company. We know that AMC investors are not holding AMC stock for the idea of a fundamental play. They're in it. We are in it for the short squeeze and ultimately for the movement. So just really realize that in this instance yes they are selling but to me it is not a big deal whatsoever we know this is not a fundamental play and we know that some of these insiders these board members they are not in it for the movement they're just ready to cash out on their shares so not a big deal whatsoever just the media once again trying to get you guys to see look maybe you guys should sell out of your shares maybe you could should move into something else because obviously insiders don't believe in the company anymore obviously they don't believe in the company who would fundamentally at this price level Anyways, though, moving on, I want to talk about the SEC, and I want to talk about Citadel. So, obviously, if you guys remember from yesterday's video, we watched that interview on CNBC, which was absolutely amazing. That SEC investigator, I believe, he admitted to naked shorts being in the market, and he also admitted that it's hard for the SEC to do anything about it because these cases take time. They take a lot of information, and that's why they don't really even try. Nevertheless, though, he did say that this GameStop and AMC movement, they're bringing serious attention to naked shorting and we could see something happen with the sec now i just want you guys to know a couple things in relation to the sec and citadel the sec is on high alert so check this out we won't look too much into it we're about to end the video don't worry but it says a new sec chairman sets sights on citadel securities and guys this was written i believe at the beginning of may so this is the new sec chairman here gary gensler and he is set is sites on Citadel Securities for obviously many reasons. We can see another article written shortly after that one. It says SEC Chair Gensler is weary of Citadel Securities market power. He knows something is up. This is a different chairman. This is not the same chairman that's been in there for years and years and years. This is the new one. He could possibly do something different with the new power that he has. And he's obviously shown some concern about Citadel over the last several months. So guys, we could possibly see something come about. And obviously, like we talked about, the SEC is going to have to do something. If they turn their back to this and all this gets blown out of the water, everyone's going to look at the SEC and say, why didn't you do something about this? You obviously knew it was going on. Even the mainstream media is picking up on this and starting to side with the apes because they see the naked shorting that is going on and they do not want to be involved in that illegal activity. In the last article here, we can see that they have been involved with the SEC prior in 2017. Citadel Securities paying $22 million for misleading clients about pricing trades. Guys, we know Citadel is shady. We know that pretty much all roads, all negative news related to AMC, whether that's news networks or lawsuits, anything is ultimately related back to Citadel. We also know that there's already lawsuits in the making on Citadel and the DTCC and Robinhood and other market makers because of all the misleading information all of the manipulation that is going on into the market guys this is why I'm holding I'm holding to expose all of this stuff I'm holding for the AMC community and for everyone to really expose all this market manipulation that has been going on by the 1% forever our idea here our movement is to transfer the wealth from the 1% to the 99% after we expose everything that they are doing Guys, we are up. AMC was $5 only a few months ago. Now we are sitting at $50 per share. I know you guys want to look further and further into the future, and that is amazing, but don't forget how far we have already come. We have to give it time. If you guys believe in the movement, you know that it is going to take time and that short squeezes do not happen overnight. Understand every day, look at all the information that continues to be uncovered. It is insane. I personally have never, ever seen something like this in my lifetime, so it is amazing. And 
And guys, I will continue to hold all of my shares for a very, very long time. With that said though, guys, that is all I have for today's video. I appreciate you. I hope you learned something from it. Take this information and use it to your investing advantage moving forward into next week. Guys, that is all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing, turning on those notifications, and giving this video a like if you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.